Hey, how you guys doing? Um, salmon season is just upon us, so it's probably less than a month away for the cold salmon. So um, I'm just gonna spool my one-year-old um, convector 45 high speed. Yeah, this is the one with a six to one ratio. Um, so I'm gonna spool it with 150 coppers. I'm just gonna show you guys how I do it. Okay, to fill this uh, convector reel with as much backing, um, I'm gonna use my old uh, Magda Pro in the same size. I'm gonna uh, spool it backwards, so it means um, I'm gonna use the I'm gonna put a um, fluorocarbon liter first, a 20 pound fluorocarbon liter, and a two color of lead core. Um, all my copper rods are hybrid, so copper with two um, color of lead core. And then next is the copper, and then the braid backing. For the braid backing, I am going to use, for the very first time, the Casking Super Power Braided line. It's a 30 pound test. Um, I bought it on eBay. Uh, it's made in the USA. It claims from New York. And yeah, it's a 30 pound test. Uh, it's cheaper than Power Pro. This 300 yards is about Fourteen dollars and some fifty cents, which is the Power Pro. Um, it's about thirty dollars for three hundred yards. So let's see. Okay, so now just gonna do a simple arbor knot. Just a small um, electric tape so it doesn't slip. There you go. So don't forget to press this zero, and it's up to you guys. Um, I do uh, 20 to 30 feet of uh, leader line. So let's say I'm gonna put a 30 right now. So there, I just pulled it with uh, 30 feet of leather, it says 970 from zero, you know, it goes back to uh, 970, so that's uh, 30 feet of uh, leather. So now, the tag end of the 4 carbon leather, um, now I'm going to use uh, a lead core, and the nut my favorite knot to use this for this uh, lead core is um, Willy Snap. So just take off like maybe an inch or so of lead, cut it, and retract it back. Now you gotta insert. Um, this 20 pound uh, leader there so make sure um, your leader is all the way to the lead like touching the lead inside and I'm just gonna do a simple uh, overhand knot while holding this so there you go I made a uh, simple overhand knot and just one overhand knot is good enough you know now it's it's not gonna break it's all locked in so I'm just gonna pull spool um, two color in the reel and I'll show you guys that after 
Alright, so now um, I pulled my old wheel with the uh, two color lead core, which is the red and the green color. Now the next is the copper line. Alright, so now I'm gonna use an uh, ant swivel. It's very small. It's gonna fit uh, on the smallest uh, eye tips of the rods. So, same thing, I'm just gonna pull out lead here. Track it like this. So I'm going to use a trilene nut. I use that for like most of my fishing nut. I like it, never had a break off. Bear with me, it's very tiny. So now I got it. So you just twist it maybe four times, five times. And then you're gonna make sure um, it's gonna go. between the two holes it's hard to see i'm sorry so it's gonna go between that hole right there and then get the tag end and just tease it tease it while pulling this tag in right there. Now I won't, it's not gonna go nowhere. See, there's your nut right there. Did cut the tag end. So now the next one is um, the copper lines. So for the copper lines, um, I'm going to insert um, a shrink tube. And I'll let you know the purpose of that later. So now I'm going to do a haywire twist. Haywire, haywire twist now. Maybe three, three times. One, two, three. And then you're going to wrap it around. One, two, three. So now I did the uh, hay white hay wire twist. And now I'm gonna insert the swing tube. To protect the the nuts. Now I'm gonna shrink the shrink tube. Now that's not gonna be undone. It's permanent there. I did it like that. Yeah, I exposed this so later on I can uh, maybe a couple years I can uh, uh, retie this so. There you go.
I'm gonna spool my uh, copper lines to my Magda Pro. Um, and I'll be back. So now um, I just pulled my uh, Magda with the copper lines. Um, it's 150 yard, 150 feet. Um, here's the picture. Um, how to uh, make it accurate measurement. So I just use the um, um, measuring tape and lay it on the floor. So now I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use um, Albright knot to connect my um, copper lines to the braided uh, backing. maybe eight wraps one two three four five six seven eight and then you're gonna go back there insert it Now tease it all the way down while pulling the tag. There you go. That's the Albright knot. So simple. Now for this tag end, um, I usually just twist it like this there you go yep tight tag the other end there you go so now I'm gonna peel up this uh, reel as much backing that I can fit in here. Um, so press the zero. Alright, I'll be back. So once the braided line is there, I press the zero so so um, I got indicator um, how much backing line that it's gonna fit in this reel. All right, guys. Uh, so now I spooled my uh, hybrid copper, 150 copper with 30 pound uh, braid backing. Uh, it says on the line counter. Uh, about 800 feet of line braid backing so now um, I'm gonna on my other rod the convector so I did the arbor nut there um, put a tape in there and I put another 100 feet of um, 20 pound uh, mono as uh, backing so just to make sure it doesn't um, slip so now I'm just gonna do a simple double uni knot one two three or wet it there you go then now I'm gonna do it on the other side two three 
two, three, four, five. So five turns, then tied it. Then now you pull it on both sides. There. So now tuck the both ends. No. Slap. Now I'm gonna transfer all the lines in the Magda reel to my convector. Alright. Okay, here we go. Um, so I transferred all the lines now from the um, my old Magda Pro. Uh, remember earlier uh, the first one I spooled in there is the leader followed by um, the lead core, the 150 feet of copper, and the braid backing. So now it's reverse. So now my first one is the leader followed by the 27 pound lead core, 150 feet of copper, and my 30 pound Caskin braided line. So on the Magda Pro, it says on the line counter, I got only 800 feet of braid backing, but on this convector, it's a thousand. So I'm gonna go with a thousand feet of backing. All right, so there you go, guys. Uh, hopefully, my video is helpful to to the new the, the newbies rookies uh, like me yeah i'm not an expert yet i'm just showing you guys how i i did my other rods so i can feel the the rods all the way on the top okay hopefully you guys can catch a lot of fish this coming season all right good luck have a good one